Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2007 family comedy cartoon called Ratatouille. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. Remy, a young rat with a perfect sense of taste and smell, dreams of becoming a chef like his idol, the late Auguste Gusto. The rest of his colony, including his brother Emil and his father, the clan leader Django, are interested in food only for sustenance. The rats live in an elderly woman's attic outside Paris. After Remy and Emil accidentally reveal the colony to the woman, they are forced to flee and Remy becomes separated from the others. Encouraged by an imaginary Gusto, he eventually finds himself above the kitchen of Gusto's restaurant. Remy notices the restaurant's new garbage boy, Alfredo Linguini, attempting to fix a soup he ruined, and jumps in to fix Linguini's mistakes. Linguini catches Remy in the act, but does not reveal him to Skinner, Gusto's former sous chef and the new owner of the restaurant. Skinner confronts Linguini for tampering with the soup, but when the soup is accidentally served and proves to be a success, Colette Tadu, the restaurant's female chef, convinces Skinner to retain Linguini and uphold Gusto's motto, anyone can cook. Skinner demands Linguini replicate the soup to keep his job. Skinner spots Remy and orders Linguini to take him outside and kill him. Once they're alone, Linguini discovers that Remy can understand him, and he convinces Remy to help him cook. Remy guides Linguini's movements like a marionette by pulling on his hair while hiding under his toe. They recreate the soup and continue cooking at the restaurant. Colette begrudgingly trains Linguini, but comes to appreciate someone heeding her professional advice. Linguini tries to show Remy to Colette, but Remy makes him kiss her. Remy reunites with Emil and the clan. Django tries to convince Remy it is impossible to change humans' disdain for rats, but Remy affirms that change is nature. Skinner discovers that Linguini is Gusto's illegitimate son and the rightful owner of the restaurant. Skinner hides the letter and the will. Remy finds them and is chased by Skinner, but Remy outruns him and shows the documents to Linguini, who then forces Skinner out. The restaurant thrives as Remy's recipes become popular, Linguini's life improves, and he develops a romantic relationship with Colette. Food critic Anton Ego, whose negative review of the restaurant indirectly led to Gusto's death, announces he will dine at the restaurant. When Linguini takes credit for Remy's cooking, he and Remy fall out. Remy leads his clan to raid the restaurant's pantries for food. Linguini arrives to apologize, but upon discovering the raid, furiously drives all of the rats out, Remy included. The next day, Remy is captured by Skinner but promptly freed by Django and Emil. Linguini reconciles with Remy and reveals the truth to his staff, who all quit. Reminded of Gusto's motto, Colette returns to help. Django and the clan cook under Remy's direction while Linguini waits tables. Skinner and a health inspector attempt to interfere, but get locked in the pantry. Remy creates a variation of Ratatouille which reminds the astounded eagle of his mother's cooking. Asking to meet the chef, he is asked to wait until the restaurant is empty. Eagle is stunned upon being introduced to Remy. The next day, he writes a review stating that he has come to understand Gusto's motto, and describes Remy, without revealing that he is a rat, as nothing less than the finest chef in France. After Skinner and the health inspector are released, the restaurant is shut down, stripping Ego of his job and credibility. Remy, Linguini, and Colette open a bistro, La Ratatouille, to continue Gusto's legacy in which Ego, a happier man, invests and frequently visits. The rat colony settles into the bistro's attic as their new home. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.